Hi guys, this is just a quick update from the greenhouse. Um, you know, growing food in a desert, um, I think of a desert as, um, in, in some cases, fertile ground. Thinking of family in Arizona that um, they, they talk about that they have fertile ground there. But I, I, I think of pretty much no rainfall or extremely limited rainfall and very high heat. And um, in this greenhouse, this is pretty much what we have. Uh, because it's completely enclosed, there's absolutely no rainfall. And um, we've had since the end of April, um, daytime temperatures um, above 30 degrees in this greenhouse. So we've uh, had um, in July many days. It has been the hottest July on record in Sweden. And we've had many days um, in over 30 degrees Celsius outside and you can just imagine in this greenhouse we can just open both doors and there are a couple windows on the sides um, temperatures probably went way too hot in here and went like all the way to I would think um, 40 45 degrees so um, I've shared this before that we have only watered here when we planted them and then once to water some blood meal into the ground but pretty much just one big watering here and they have they grew fine I, I have made several videos about this we have had um, good growth healthy plants and you know without rainfall just with this one intense watering at planting this was fine up until two weeks ago where I came in here and I really have reached the limit I saw that the top of the plants um, you know the flowers were just drying out and falling down they weren't producing any tomatoes up on top and this is fine with me because I really want to test the limits and see so I did one heavy watering here again I, I drove um, over a cubic meter of water from the lake in here did this heavy watering since then they have been fine again because they have this big root system and they can really suck up all this water so um, you can grow food in a desert you have to insulate the ground protect it from the heat what we have done here and, and cover it well and then you you can really do a minimum input so I, I really think that we've had in the greenhouse here temperatures like my family has in Arizona we have family lived there and um, we have watered twice and have um, a lot of fruit you know and if you could maybe water it a little more you would get even more fruit now we have some issues here some tomatoes are starting to break and some are starting to rot depending on the variety you have not the variety I was talking about in a different video the black sweet cherry is just working great and um, you know those are things you could work with but I, I really like to test and try to reach the limits so um, it is possible to turn a desert into a garden with um, very little input and um, just wanted to share that I think I have reached one of the limits where it goes from um, you know middle of April till middle of July with only one watering and temperatures every day um, you know way over 30 degrees Celsius in the greenhouse and absolutely no rainfall so just want to share that and if I would live in a warmer climate I would definitely love to try that hope you enjoyed this short update